Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. Today's video is going to be a long anticipated get ready with me video. Um, on most days, I am just hanging out around the house doing work in my home office, but I do try to put on a nice face of makeup and I have products that are tried and true and I use every single day. So I put this look together. Um, within a certain amount of time. I don't know if it's fast, but it's effective. So if you guys wanna see how I get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I do, um, this is like my everyday, not my everyday, because most days I don't wear a lot of makeup, but if I'm going to get ready for the day, these are the products that I have been loving, um, using, and are tried and true for me. So to moisturize my skin, you guys know I still love my Embryolisse. Um, this is the Late Cream late cream concentrate there we go and it used to be sold at Sephora for a minute but I was getting it on like skincare.com or skin store and I just put it all over it's the most moisturizing uh, makeup artists like it because it can act as a primer so I just kind of get it all over and I really really love this stuff I have the driest skin on the planet. We all know this by now. So I'm always looking for, even during the summer, I really like an emollient, creamy um, moisturizer. Okay, got that done. You can see how it just kind of leaves some nice sheen in my skin, but it does, it takes makeup so beautifully. So that's done. If I'm feeling especially dry, I might use um, like a, a oil, a skin oil on top and just pat it on. But this feels, this feels really good. So the next thing I do is I use a little bit, first a little bit of sheen. I love the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer. And this is in number 10. And it is the most beautiful sheen, not glittery at all. So I take like a small pump like that and I rub it between my fingers. And then I just kind of rub it all over. Under my eyes, around my cheeks, my chin, just to add a little bit of glow. You can mix it with your foundation too, but that's, I usually save that for, um, for nights that I'm going out because I'm gonna wear more foundation. So that's done. That is my base and you guys can see just adds a little bit of glow um, that's pretty much it. Now, foundation. Okay, so the next, the newest foundation, I'm gonna do a review on this. It'll probably be my favorites video. Um, I never thought I could wear this foundation because it was in the Dior line, and I never thought the Dior line was uh, very diversified as far as their colors. And lo and behold, a color matched me. It's the Dior Air Flash um, 501. It's amazing. I love it. It's a perfect match for me. You'll see that my skin obviously is lighter. I'm using um, some acids when I exfoliate, so my skin will always be a little bit lighter than like say my neck. So shake it, shake it, shake it. But I have found it's a really good match for me. So you shake it up. Really, really, really good. Perfect. And then you don't want to spray your aerosol into the universe. That would be bad. You want to use a flat top kabuki brush, something like this. This is by e.l.f. E.l.f. powder. Does the job, guys. I think it's now $6 at Target. I think the bevel's like coming undone, but I love it. So you shake, 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 and then you spray directly on the brush. And I just kind of, I'm gonna look while I'm doing this. Tap in certain areas. And then take a little bit more on the brush. And then I'll start to swirl. I like my freckles to still show. I like my um, skin to still look natural. Uh, I'll do heavier foundation for nights out and whatnot, but for the most part, this is how I like to roll. And it really is such a good match for me. Now I have some spots that I definitely want to cover up more. So I would go back in, get my nose, there we go, get my nose. Okay. 
Okay, so can you guys see this? That's just one um, well, lap with the, the foundation. So that's what that looks like uh, with one go. And I just wanna make sure it's all blended, especially where I have uh, darker hyperpigmentation, which is around my mouth and around my nose. And then under eye circles, I just inherited those. Thank you, family tree. So um, I'll do that. Then on my cheek area, I like to offer a little bit more coverage. So I'll shake this up and this is amazing. So I have some on the brush. I will dot there, dot there, and I have this really weird vein right here. And I'll dot there and I'll just kind of tap. And then I'll tap here. And I'll tap here. And that alone is enough to cover up the imperfections. I'll bring this down a little bit. <laughs> Into your ear up into your hairline I love this foundation you guys and honestly it feels like you're not wearing anything again it's the Dior air flash flat top kabuki brush is um, the way to go if you want to grab it it's it's pricier and I'm waiting to see how much this will last me how long it will last me so I will get back to you on that when I get to the bottom of the barrel okay so now at this point I moisturize my lips I'm using any random uh, chapstick will do I run out of my last one so I all over let my lips marinate before I do more damage with lip liners and such now I'm gonna work on my brows I'm using the brow Wiz by Anastasia in dark brown I think this is I want to say it's dark brown yeah it's dark brown and I love it I actually just got my eyebrows done at the Irvine spectrum Anastasia and every time I go visit my husband at work I stop in and I try to like just go and ask if someone will do my eyebrows and they're always booked obviously because they're two ladies in Irvine working. So they're like, you need an appointment. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> I'm just stopping in for the day. And the last time I went, they had an opening for someone to do my eyebrows and so she fixed them, she cleaned them up. So um, I will fast forward through all this because this is just pretty mundane, but I just, it's a very, very fine tip. It's a great match and I just kind of follow the line strokes follow the line as you can see it starts to take some shape up at the top follow it down okay you see and that's all eyebrows really are is All right, so now that my brows are done, thank the heavens, um, then I can do a brow gel. I don't usually do a brow gel just because, um, I don't know, I just don't. <laughs> you could use a clear brow gel, that'd be totally fine. Now, concealer. I discovered this concealer uh, a few weeks ago at Sephora. I've been wanting to try it. Again, Lancome is really doing great things with diversifying their colors their undertones to boot. So uh, the new Tint Idol Ultra Wear looks like that in number, I wanna say I'm 415 Bisque, 415 Bisque W. This stuff is like, packs a punch, okay? You need a very, very small amount, like, like, I'll show you. Like that might be too much. You seen that? That might be too much. So I just dot it under my eye and it's super, super creamy. And as you can see, it just immediately starts to cover. I wouldn't call it sticky. No, I wouldn't call it sticky. Viscous. Um, has a stick to it. But I like to go under, along my nose, back up. You guys, look how good that covers already. And that was that one little dot shared between two eyes. I tested it out. I tested it out just around the house just to see if it would uh, come off. I wore my glasses with it, it didn't come off. Okay, so I'm gonna use some Caudalie grape water. I love this stuff for wetting my beauty blender. So I shake it up 
I use it for everything. I use it to refresh, I use it to set my makeup, I use it to kind of wet the little beauty blender. Cute little black one. I take the front, I kind of squeeze it up a little bit, and then I just kind of blend everything out. I don't want foundation, foundation, I don't want concealer to settle here. You don't want foundation to settle up there. Um, anything that has a crease in, involved, I want that to be kind of blended out. Same with right here. What's happening with this hair? So I blend down along my nose and then back up in a triangle and then I really make sure that I blend out right here. You don't want foundation to sit right here. So you're gonna blend out. Now my trouble zone is right here. So I'm gonna go back in right here and do a little bit more, but for the most part, I'm happy with the coverage I just got with that one pass. Are you crazy? Like one pass of this stuff and I'm pretty much concealed, right? Crazy. So now I'm gonna let that sit for a second before I go back in. I'm going to put on this um, Indian Wood Pro Longwear Paint Pot. It's kind of my go-to everyday easy taupe gold color. If it's not this, it's Woodwinked, which is the Max um, Max uh, eyeshadow pot. Take some on my finger, it might be too much. Take a little bit on my finger and I just kind of rub it along my lid. It's meant to be a base so you can add more shadows or you can do a smoky eye, or whatever the look is that you're looking for. I tend to just use it on its own and just make sure it's blended nicely and I'm pretty happy with it. Do that. Super, super easy. I mean, it's not, we're not doing like Victoria's Secret runway stuff right here, <laughs> but it is really pretty. See, um, if you want, you can always take a blending brush before it sets and just kind of make sure it's all blended out. But I find that for the look I go for, kind of the everyday, just defined, I can get a lot done with my eyeliners. And this is just really pretty shimmer on your lid, you know? Okay, so now I'm gonna do some eyeliner on top. And I'm loving, I was using the Lancome Brown eyeliner and I did like it, but it's super soft and it ran out really fast. So now I'm using the Sephora Waterproof Crayon Contour. Looks like that. And it's in, what color is this? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. And it just looks like that, basic brown. Okay, and I'm going to use my mirror <laughs> and I'm going to line my upper lid line, lash line, I mean. So then I will go in with my mascara of choice. You guys know my favorite mascara. I've still been, this stuff is like the best. Lancome's Grandiose Mascara, because check out this wand. Check it out. How gnarly is this wand? Woo! Isn't that crazy? The best mascara I have ever used. Watch. So I just kind of wiggle. <laughs> I learned this trick a long time ago from a consultant at the Chanel counter in Fashion Valley Mall when I was like 20. And she sat me down and she said, you wiggle your mascara wand at the base of your lashes first, then you start to comb up. And I never forgot that. Big ups to that lady. I wonder what she's doing now. Okay, so that's what that looks like. First pass. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit because we're gonna go back in with my concealer and we're gonna finish up my no-go zone. Which is crazy to me because with this uh, concealer, I feel like I don't need it, but I'm gonna show you for the sake of my habit what I do. So I take a little bit more, like that much. Oh my gosh, can you even see that? Yeah. And I dot right there, right there. And I start to kind of smear it right there in my problem area. Okay. Just to brighten it. And then I take my beauty blender. And I just kind of, just like that. Right in there. I don't want to add any more over here in the crease area. It's right there. And it blends in beautifully. Now because it's slightly sticky, I and I don't really like to bake, uh, I feel like baking really dries my skin out. Um, I'll just let this sit for a second while I do another coat of mascara. So you can see now I am fully 
bright. <laughs> I'm fully awake, but it's blended beautifully um, into my skin. You can see how that works. So now we'll go in with more mascara. Second coat, okay, same wand. Now that I got that done, um, I'm going to lightly dust with my favorite finishing powder. This is Drugstore. I couldn't find this exact shade. I had to go to Walmart, three different Walmarts to find it. Maybelline's Mineral Power Finishing Veil Translucent Powder. This gives me no flashback in photography, ever. Um, it sits beautifully. It doesn't give me, like I said, the white cast. Um, I've just really, really always loved this setting powder for years and years. I'd say I've used this since 2009. I take a little bit in my lid take my little buffing brush and I'll take a little bit kind of buff it into the brush and then I'll just kind of lightly dust because this uh, concealer has a sheen to it I have to really be careful and make sure I reduce that shine some concealers will set more matte or satiny this definitely because it's more viscous will set uh, shiny kind of but it's great so you just kind of get in there in that same V shape Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so now I will line my lower lash line with, I use two different brown eyeliners. Um, this one has a little bit of like sheen to it. Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in number 2L. So this is what it looks like. And I'll do a side by side for you. You can see it's this one. It's just a little bit creamier and a little bit more gold in it. And so I will just line, I have a hair right there. I will line my lower lash line very haphazardly, I kind of literally just trace. And then I make sure I go really up into the corner. But that's pretty much like all I do. Way up in the corner, and then bring it down. Because I really don't feel like blending. You know, I don't wanna do that, I don't wanna do that. Now that that's all done, let's do some bronzer. So I'll take my favorite bronzer, my favorite bronzer is e.l.f. Um, it's the e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzing, Contouring Blush and Bronzer. I have hit pan on it. I can no longer find this color in stores. I had to order it off of Amazon. I don't use the blush attached, but I do love the bronzer. So I had order, it's on Antigua. For my skin tone, I love Antigua. So I take a Real Techniques, uh, I think this is just a brush. Oh, that's a blush brush? Well, it's got a nice point top and I just take a little bit in there and I dust them off on my hand and I kind of start up here and swoop down right under the cheekbone okay and I'll do the other side up into the hairline and it just for me with bronzer it just adds um, a little bit more life around my the frame of my face because I'm putting on concealers around my forehead. I have a big forehead. Girl. I have a Tyra Banks forehead. Okay, down my neck. Uh, a little bit more on the side here. I bring it down a little bit on my lower jawbone, but not too much to the front because then you risk giving yourself a little beard ski. I don't want a beard, right? Bronzer is the one thing that will make me feel like pretty much alive. Okay, so now we're gonna um, finish off the foundation with some powder that's really light, and this is the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact. I really love Sephora's makeup, you guys. Um, I really do. I know that their factory is also in cahoots with like Lancome or Henry Bendel. I'm not completely sure, but their makeup. If you find something you like, it's so much cheaper. This is like $15, and it's a micro smooth, kind of like an MSF. So I take a flat brush, and I'm in the color uh, 
matte tan number 40 and I just take a little bit and I dust it on my chin on my forehead this takes down some shine I can even go back under okay bada -bing, bada boom if I feel like I need some more mascara let's do some more mascara all of a sudden I feel better. Now for lips. Um, I have been using chapstick this whole time to moisturize my lips and I'll just kind of take this blanket or this towel I'm using and rub it off. <laughs> so that way my lips are kind of like exfoliated and are ready for lip liner. My favorite lip liner you guys know is Makeup Forever's 1C. It's just the best lip liner ever. I, every time I place an order through Sephora, I just buy another one of these. So it looks ready and I'm gonna line my lips. I fill my lips in completely. Okay, so that's what that looks like. One C is amazing I really love it um, for blush I have this cute compact from Tom Ford and it is a uh, bronzer uh, not bronzer a shimmer highlight and blush duo and I truly love it I've used it for a really long time and it's just really beautiful and when I'm traveling it's really nice because I just have to bring one little compact and it works so I take an angled brush this is from Sigma SS 168 so so old don't even ask and I dip gently this is uh, the compact is called stroked it's number two stroked dip a little bit on my hand and highlight I used an elf brush again and it's elf stipples elf's stipple brush and I take a little bit in this top part knock off the excess and right here along the cheekbone I will apply it for some added dimension see that bada bing other side my hair is dripping right now go away hairs go away And then I will use a MAC Mineralize Tinted Lip Balm, just to, you can use a lipstick if you want, um, but I really like the color of this, right over the top of my lip liner. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, almost done, almost done. And then I will finish off this entire look, because I'm pretty sure I'm done, yeah, I am done. Um, the Tatcha. Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This stuff is amazing for kind of taking away the powdery effect when you use powder products. If you have a matte foundation, you want to add a little bit more life to your skin, or you just want to make all your makeup look like a cohesive unit, you shake this up really, really well. It delivers a mist of application, so you're going to take it and kind of... And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for sticking by me through all these different uh, videos on my channel. And I'm hoping to get back into making regularly scheduled makeup videos. Hope you guys like my Randy. It was appropriate for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.